What's up guys, Matsicle Films here, and as I teased out in my previous Black Series unboxing, today we will be unboxing and reviewing Star Wars The Black Series Carbonized Paz Vizsla, or whatever you want to call it. I am really excited. As I said, this is one of the most, uh, more expensive, I don't, I don't think most, but one of the more expensive Black Series. It's cost me $36, and it's worth it at least I think let's open this up so first let's take a look at the box and then open it up so right here on the side we obviously have some very nice Paz Vizsla side art and on the back we have some text it says a brawny warrior encased in the strongest best scar armor Paz Vizsla is part of the secret enclave of his people and that's really all that they say. So this is obviously from the Mandalorian, but it could also be from the Book of Boba Fett, whatever you prefer. As per usual with these Black Series, there are a few pieces of tape to cut, so well, let's do that. All right, let's cut these pieces of tape. So there is one right here. There is one right here, one right here, and then there's one final one right here and let's pop this open and pull out the figure so here we have Paz Vizsla take off this piece of plastic and pop him out all right so here is the figure it comes in two parts you do just very easily attach the backpack or jetpack or whatever just inside here like that and then you grab this little wire and you put it into his gauntlet I believe that's how you assemble him there we go and then you also do have his blaster that you can pop in here if you would like or into his hand and there you have him all right so here he is fully assembled and I am always expecting the highest level of detail from Black Series, but this is something that I was not expecting. This is extremely, extremely detailed. It overachieves on these details, especially with the backpack. So let's spin it around. You guys saw me assemble the whole thing. And my most, like, the thing that I was least expecting was this little wire the fact that it's able to go into his flamethrower gauntlet i was not expecting that to be the case but it is and it is great you obviously also do come with his blaster and really really great figure let's get into like the little details so getting him closer here you guys can see the head you can lift it up down left right you know all of that and there isn't really a head underneath so you can't really do that you do also come with the arms here on this shoulder you have the mythosaur you can lift up his arm and he can obviously like shoot his little flamethrower as you can see here you have his flamethrower gauntlet you have as i said this little wire attached here to that very 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 cool the other arm doesn't really have anything you can just you know move it however you like the belt very very cool it's a little loose obviously so i believe if you actually want to you'll be able to take this off you do have like this little thing right here this is just one big like rubbery piece so very very cool you do have the legs you can move those however you like in the knees even the feet can move on both legs one leg is like this gold and blue uh like you know they're split in half and then this one only has the gold sh uh knee pad and the body obviously pretty cool you have like this little walkie talkie thing or whatever this is right here and you can obviously move him if you would like. 
And then here's the backpack. Here's a closer look at that. Looks very, very cool. You can take the blaster off from here and you can maneuver it however you would like. And you can obviously put it into his hand. So let's try and do that off camera. Here he is with his weapon blaster thing. This is the best I could do. I am scared of damaging the figure because these Black Series figures are very fragile. If you bend something a little bit too much or something, it's destined to break. But you have this little thing here on the blaster that can spin around to, you know, fit into his hand however you would like. You also have this little handle right here. You have the handle, obviously, this one right here. And then you can't really spin these... Uh, these things that I don't think they even spin in the show, so whatever, but very, very cool. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's Black Series review for Paz Vizsla. I am in love with this figure. This is probably my favorite figure that I have in my collection. It is great. Let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments below obviously this is definitely very very pricey 36 dollars for like a six inch i believe figure so it's expensive but i would say it's worth it for me i love the mandalorian and it's definitely a really cool figure to add to my black series collection but yeah let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments below with that said that is it for today's video be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel for more black series reviews just like this one i do them very rarely but when they happen it's pretty cool there are some pretty cool black series figures out there so you know expect one within these next few months probably i don't know but yeah with that said that is it thank you guys for watching see you all in the next one bye